Hello, my name is Christian Drapeau and I'm the Chief Science Officer for STEM Tech Health Sciences. The discovery and development of STEM Enhance is truly a fascinating story. It started about 10 years ago with an aquatic botanical called Aphanisomenum flasacqua, in short AFA, growing here in Klamath Lake. People consuming AFA started to report all kinds of benefits. Benefits on their skin, cardiovascular system, on digestive function, liver function, pancreatic function, on brain functions. So many different benefits like this, it was very difficult to explain how could AFA do so many different things like this in the body. Uh, if, as a scientist, if you want to study a product, you need to choose one parameter. For example, if we're studying a product for weight loss, we take individuals, we put them on a scale, we measure their weight like this over a period of time, and we determine whether the product helps reduce uh, body weight. But if you have a product like this that is good for the skin, good for uh, digestion, good for brain function, cardiovascular function, liver function, and so many different aspects like this of human physiology, what parameter do you choose to study? It was really a mystery. We had no way of explaining how AFA could do so many things. So it remained like this a mystery for many years. Until early 2000, with the discovery of embryonic stem cells and their ability like this to become various cells of various tissues and organs in the body. And soon after, one of the biggest discoveries of our time, the fact of the discovery that adult stem cells also have the ability of becoming various cells of various organs and tissues. Adult stem cells are stem cells in your own bone marrow. They're cells in any kind of living, living organism. So even in an infant, we call these cells adult stem cells. And the big discovery that they can become like these various cells of every tissue is, is really a major breakthrough. Now, how did we discover this very recently? If stem cells have been doing this job in the body for forever, why do we discover this just right now? Because so far, they have been very well known for a long time to be the source of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, bone cells, and some connective tissue. But so far, they've been believed to be limited to only these types of cells. So how, we did, how did we discover like this that suddenly they can become cells of various tissues in the body? It's a little bit like bacteria. Bacteria have been in the world forever. They've been always there. But we've only become aware of bacteria when we discovered or developed the microscope. And not only did we discover bacteria, but we discovered that they were everywhere. They are ubiquitous in the world. Well, stem cells is, is a little bit the same thing. Scientists discovered a protein called green fluorescent protein from a jellyfish in the deep ocean. This protein is fluorescent. We just put it under a, a, a fluorescent microscope and suddenly this protein is, is shining, is, is, is sending light, and we can see it very clearly. Then scientists developed the DNA to encode for this protein. When we take this DNA and inject it in a stem cell, that stem cell is fluorescent. But what is more interesting is that if that stem cell becomes a liver cell in the liver, that liver cell is going to be fluorescent. If that liver cell proliferate and leads to a whole population of, of liver cells, because it's in the DNA, all these liver cells will be fluorescent. So scientists started to take stem cells like this, make them fluorescent by injecting this DNA for green fluorescent protein, and then inject these stem cells in animals and triggered various injuries. For example, a heart attack. And within a few weeks, what was observed is that the heart became fluorescent. The area of the heart that lacked oxygen suddenly became a, 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 a small population of fluorescent heart cells. If we trigger a muscle injury, the area of the injury heals but becomes filled with fluorescent uh, muscle cells. In the brain, a stroke, an area where a stroke is provoked, then becomes filled with, filled with fluorescent neurons. So as these studies were done, this, this old phenomenon suddenly revealed itself to, to the world. Stem cells from your bone marrow travel in the body like this and go and find areas needing assistance, needing repair, and they do the work of renewal. It's been like this forever. We're just seeing it right now with the discovery of this tool, this green fluorescent protein. Okay, now, why did we get so interested in studying stem cell research? The idea came from the fact that if, if one product is called to support like this stem cell physiology, if in one individual stem cells go to the skin, this person is going to experience benefits on skin health. If in another individual stem cells go to the liver, this person is going to experience 
improvement in liver function, and so on and so forth with various aspects like this of human health. And this is what we had with AFA. So our hypothesis, what we proposed, is that AFA was supporting like this stem cell physiology in one way or another, supporting all kinds of, of aspects of human health and human physiology. So that was our starting point in our own research. So we went back in the lab, fed AFA to individuals, and simply monitored various aspects of, of uh, stem cell physiology. And soon what we observed is that consuming AFA, large quantities of AFA, would trigger an increase in the number of circulating stem cells. Now this is, cr this is very important because when we looked at various aspects of stem cell physiology, the one parameter that is the most important, and this is really emerging from various studies in the scientific literature, the most important factor is the number of stem cells in the blood. For example, one study published about a year ago in the New England Journal of Medicine, September 2005, where they studied more than 600 individuals and compared their cardiovascular health with the number of stem cells in their blood and concluded that the number of stem cells in the blood was one of the best indicators or predictors of cardiovascular health. In other words, more stem cells in the blood equates to greater cardiovascular health and we can extend this to various aspects of human health. So when we observed that AFA was triggering like this an increase in the number of circulating stem cells, we knew that we were on something very, very interesting. But the amount of AFA that we had to give people to get this effect was just too much. We had to identify the active component and find a way to concentrate them to be able to bring it to, to something that was more palatable. So that was where our journey started in our own scientific research. So over the past three, four years, we tried to identify the compounds responsible for this effect, and we isolated and identified two compounds. One is an L-selectin ligand. L-selectin is an adhesion molecule at the surface of stem cells, playing a crucial role in the residence or the clinging of stem cells to the bone marrow. When we block L-selectin, we sort of kick the stem cell out of the bone marrow, support this migration process of the stem cells out of the bone marrow into the blood circulation. But we also identified NAFA, a polysaccharide, that supports the migration of stem cells out of the blood into tissues. So when we consume one gram of stem enhance, which is two capsules of stem enhance, it triggers within about three to six, uh, sorry, 30 to 60 minutes, a release of stem cells from the bone marrow which, tra which translates into an increase in the number of stem cells in the blood by about 25 to 30 percent, which equates to about 3 million new stem cells like this in the blood. And then later on, the migration of these stem cells out of the blood into tissues. So in other words, it triggers patrolling of stem cells throughout the body. You take two capsules of stem enhance, stem cells are released that go and travel like this in the body and are finding different areas where they need to go, areas in the body needing assistance, and then stem cells become cells of these tissue, helping maintain and regain optimal health every day. All that stem enhance does is that it supports every day your ability, your natural innate ability of regaining and maintaining optimal health. You do this every day and it's, it's, a, it's a way of giving you many, many years here of radiant health. So the best way to see what stem enhance can do for you is just to try it. Get some stem enhance and try it for a few weeks and see what stem enhance can do for you. See what your body can do when it has a few more stem cells to its disposal to be able to do what it knows best to do. Thank you for taking this time. Have a good day.